Hi everyone, this is Jupiter Jim from jupiterjim.com and the easiest way to find me is just to go to jupiterjim.com. I build WordPress blogs and websites. If you'd like to get to my blog that has over 90 free WordPress video tutorials on WordPress and the thesis theme, you can there'll be a link somewhere on this site. For right now it's in video tutorials. And that takes you to Jupiter Jim's marketing team right here. Okay, I'm going to click on this blog post so I can show you what a Gravatar actually looks like in case you don't know. You probably do and that's why you're here. You want me to show you how to create it, not what one is, but let me just scroll down here for a sec. Okay, I'm going to scroll down this blog post. We've got 42 comments. And this thing right here, that's the Gravatar. That's the representation, the picture that Evan wants to use to represent himself. The picture I wanted to use, this is me, is just a picture of myself. And this is Dishes, and this is Ingrid's, and that's Sherry's. And it looks great when you've got a picture, Gravatar, some kind of graphic representation. Here you have Mary. There's no Gravatar. This is just a default. That's not what you want to use um, because when you don't have a Gravatar, you lose a lot of credibility as somebody commenting on someone else's blog. Also, a great WordPress plugin designer, Andy Bailey in the UK, is. Let me just talk about his plugin just for a second. It's called, as you can see right here, Comment Love. And that plugin is going to have a feature that will allow the user to block commenters that don't use Gravatars. I think that's what he's going to do. He's talking about it. He's thinking about it. If you want to get Comment Love, just go to Jupiter Jim's marketing team or go to jupitergym.com and that'll take you to the link to Jupiter Jim's marketing team. And the reason you want this, it will help increase the number of blog comments on your site. It does tons of other stuff like prevent spam, all kinds of cool stuff. It's called Comment Love. You can see that right there. Anyways, okay, so let's get over to what exactly a Gravatar is. Here's the definition. An avatar is an image that represents you online. A Gravatar is a globally recognized avatar. And you saw what that is. It could be a graphic image, it can be your profile pic, whatever you want. So let's start right now and create my own Gravatar using a separate email address. So I'm right here at just type in gravatar.com or you can search for Gravatar in Google and that brings you right here to en.gravatar.com. The en is easy to remember, that stands for English. Okay, to get started, here's the site. Not a big deal, there's a little one minute video there if you wanna watch it. Now to get started, you go to this section right here and you put in the email that you're going to use. And the one I'm gonna use is this one right here, floridafun234 at gmail.com, get your Gravatar. And you've got a couple of choices. If you already have an email account that you use to create your wordpress.com account, that, and you want to use that same email address when you comment on other people's blogs, uh, then you can click this button right here. I'm going to assume that you don't already have a WordPress.com account. Now, in that case, you're going to click create a new one, create a new account right here. And once again, it gives you the option if you already have the WordPress.com account, just click there. I don't. Um, so. I'm filling this form out. I'm going to just click here to get rid of that. Okay, so that's the email I'm going to address that I'm going to use. So every time I comment on someone's blog, I'm going to use this email and whatever picture I use for my Gravatar will end up to the right or left of my blog post comment. Username, it put one in automatically. I'm just going to put Bob Jangles. You can play around with it. I don't. It probably does not allow spaces in the name, but I don't know. Um, if you're going to use a space, maybe just use an underscore, something like that, or a hyphen. You can play around with that. If you have any more questions, you can go right here where it says we can help clear that up for you. Now, my password, I'm going to put that in. You just create the password. And then click Sign Up. Okay, your password does not meet our security guideline. Okay, that's fine. You've got to add some of these funky characters in there. Um, and 
you have to use numbers and letters. So let me just try one more time. Okay, so now I have letters and I have numbers and I've got a, some symbols in there. Make sure that you activate your account and grant Gravatar access. Click the button above to try again. Okay, when they say activate your account, I'm assuming they mean go to your email inbox. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, there it is. To activate Bojangles, I'm going to open this up. And I'm going to click on Activate Account. Very simple. Or Bob Jangles, whatever the name is. OK, we've confirmed the email address. So now we're just going to sign in to Gravatar. That's the primary email for this account. I don't have any images. We just click by adding right here. So just click this link. I'm going to take it off of my computer's hard drive. And I'm just going to choose the file. And I think this would be a good picture. When you mouse over, you can see the dimensions 162 by 174. I think it's going to work. Click on it once. And then click down here to open. So that is the name of the file, the name of the picture that I'm going to use. Click Next. Uh, you can just click in here and you get like the crosshairs, the four arrows, north, south, east, and west, and you can just kind of move that around. Um, you might be able to yeah, move it down a little bit like that. Okay looks like it's going to be fine here, it's going to be fine there. Um, crop and finish. And then there's some controls here, I guess, that you can play around with if you want to. Which, of course, I just undid everything. So let's move this up here. Move it back there. Good enough for government work. Okay, scroll down. Click crop and finish. Um, I'm going to be crazy and just chick click the G-rated version. Okay, now it says to select the image below, so I guess I've, I need to click on this. Great, I'm going to confirm. And apparently I am done. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to a blog, this really cool, great blog for all things WordPress and more, uh, by Niall Flores, blondish.net. So let's just go comment. I'm going to comment on the late one of the latest blog WordPress blog posts. And Niall has been using WordPress for ages. That's why she's so good at what she does. And her blog posts are always helpful and informative. Okay, and you can see all the nice gravitars that people have when they comment, and there's, and there's one that doesn't have a gravitar, it just doesn't look good. Okay, so my name, I'm just going to make the name up, like I said, it's going to be Bob Jangles, email is Florida Fun. 234 website. I'm going to go with the old Jupiter Gyms marketing team and I'm just going to type a comment in. Niall, thanks so much for this memorable trip down memory lane of WordPress. Hopefully that will get in a comment will get approved because it's so informative. I'm joking. Okay, so um before I'm done, I want to show you this little link here. You click on the comment love, and Niall is using the comment love plugin that I had referred to earlier, and it's so, so cool. So I'm going to click on, I can pick any old blog post. I'm going to click this one. 
So what I, when I leave a comment, it's going to have a link back to my site. So it's really helpful for me. I'm going to click post the comment. And OK, it says the comment is awaiting moderation, but that's not important. What's important is there's my picture. There's my gravatar. Works like a charm. Thanks so much. Take care and have a great day.